I'm Johnny Scola and this is Chase the Heat. Boy, it's been a privilege to be able to say that for almost eight years. Do you know that? I appreciate you guys. All right. Now, before I eat this pepper, I want you to, well, you're already watching the video. Please look at that thumbnail when you get a chance and tell me what you see in that. Tell me if you don't see like Woody the Woodpecker with a pompadour hat, with a pompadour hairdo. Like there's the beak and there's the head and here's this pompadour haircut. It looks like, I don't know. Here's the deal, people. I didn't sleep so good last night. I tried. Just wasn't in the cards. All right, so the Michigan Chili Grower, Ryan Karsher, is a good dude. Uh, he's a, a knowledgeable grower. And this is a Fenrir. Fenrir. Now, I want you to know, when I have a ton of peppers in the fridge, I usually like going for one I haven't tried before. Now, I've tried this one, but the last time I tried it, Fenrir has a special meaning. And I kind of zipped right by that. I'm guilty of doing that a lot. I, I you know, and I should do more research. I shouldn't wing it. So I did a little uh, research on this one. When I say little, I mean just a wee little. But let me tell you a little bit about what Fenrir, and by the way, let me tell you a little bit about this pepper. The Fenrir, this is an F3 uh, stage. Um, I ate one of the F1 last year, I think. Um, and what it is, is a howler crossed with a purple reaper, selectively bred for a surprise on the interior. That's what he says. These pods are true, uh, are not fully ripe, um, so they ripen during transit, and this is perfect now. So let me tell you a little bit about Fenrir. What, this is what I blew off last time. I, I uh, completely just zipped by it. Uh, in North, North, in Norse, in Norse mythology, uh, Fenrir is a monstrous wolf who plays a key role in Ragnarok. Fenrir is the son of Loki and the, and the giantess uh, Angerboda and is also known as Fenrir Sulfur and Vanagard. Vanagand. Sorry. So I'm reading it. I just didn't practice it. I'm sorry. I'm getting better. It's baby steps. All right. So the gods bind Fenrir with a magical chain made of, ca of a cat's footsteps. How cool is that? A magical chain made of cat's footsteps. Uh, a woman's beard, you heard me right, a woman's beard, and fish breath. Three pretty unique things. Uh, so Fenrir bites off the hand of the god Tyre and is gagged with a sword. He is destined to remain bound to a rock until Ragnarok. Um when he will break free and kill Odin. So there's your uh, crash course in Norse mythology. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I got a, uh, on Instagram yesterday, no, my days are blending together. Maybe it's two days ago. I'm not really sure. But on Instagram, somebody made a comment that they absolutely love the fact that I take pictures of the pods during the video. So I told them, fear not, we will keep that tradition going. Wow. He wasn't kidding about it. Interesting interior. You know what? Well, wow. When I, when I read, you know, he said he's bred this for an interesting interior. I was like, I, I kind of wondered what he meant by that. All right. I'm trying to think, I can see oil. Maybe even running a little bit on this pepper. This is a really odd looking interior. Here it is, whole. 
Look at the, I'm gonna do one at a time just because I want you to get a good close up view of it. Look at the, the color is, it's super oily. Look how glistening that thing is, shiny. It's got a really interesting color and the aroma, if you have your smell of vision on, you're getting it. Look at how much oil there is. You know what? Oh yeah, it's just a little puddle of oil in there. Look at how oily this half is. Right along this edge, right under there is a like a little river. It's a little cat facing tributary. Wicked cool pepper. It smells hot. All right, so again, this is a howler crossed with a purple reaper. This is Fenrir. I'm glad I noticed that. Tell me that doesn't look like Woody the Woodpecker with a pompadour haircut. Come on, you can see it, right? Or a duck, maybe? I'll sleep tonight. I'm Johnny Scoble, and this is Chase the Eagle. What a weird pepper. First of all, it was super, super floral. Okay, for fruitiness, we have a five out of 10. Earthy, none. Smoky, none. Sweet, none. Bitterness, five. Floral, I give it an eight. <sighs> Smell it, floral. Um, here's the thing that's weird about this pepper. It wasn't so much the flavor. This burn, and I don't remember this from last year, and I would have. Um, the burn has a stinging quality to it. Almost, not exactly like a habanero, but kind of habanero-ish. Um, Probably seven out of 10, eight out of 10, seven or eight out of 10. In that neighborhood. And that's the Fenrir, Fenrir F3. Okay, got a couple of shout outs that are sort of important to me. Uh, first of all, Michael Superba Superbacker. Uh, he was, he's been a subscriber of the channel for three years, three plus years. He left the first comment on the very last video. So I wanna thank you, Michael, for having your notifications on, my friend. All right, and the, the next thing I wanted to tell you about is this, man. I, I saw a comment, I'd seen his comments before. Um, his name is Wheels on Heat. Okay, Wheels on Heat. I want you guys to do me a favor if you can. Let's show some love and go over and check his channel out. There'll be a link, where am I gonna put the link? In the description box, you'll see the link. Not on the screen, but in the description box. Wheels on Heat. Um, he has 19 subscribers so far, and we need to change that. He's a good kid. He has four videos up, just four so far. But he did the bomb, a chug, and he's just a tough kid. Uh, his name is Joseph. So if we can go over there and please show him some love, um, you know what he's, let me, you know, I'm not going to mention the person's name, but he reminds me, there's another uh, person in the Chile community um, that has a YouTube channel. And when I f first discovered, they had like, I don't know, maybe 50 or 60 subscribers. And he's one of those people that when he turns the camera on, he's going to perform like a million people are watching him. 
and is live. He doesn't do live videos. They're all recorded and he uploads them. But he just has, I remember thinking, man, this is a dude who's got a very small audience, but he's, it's like the show was for the whole world. And it was amazing. Joseph has that quality. It was just, I, I love his videos. And I'm a fan. I subscribed yet. I think I was his, nine, I think he had 18. I'm his 19th subscriber. Um, please go over and check Joseph out. He seems like a good kid. One of the videos I, I pulled up and he's wearing the Chase the Heat shirt. It was just a, a, a very, very nice kid. I'm going to watch every single one of his videos. So let's see if we can change that number from 19. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Hang on. We're gonna do something different. Instead, he's not gonna, Joseph uh, Wheels on Heat is not gonna be in the description box. I just thought of a way that you're gonna see it a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up now, all right? We're gonna end it in the description box. You're gonna see a link uh, for Michigan Chili Grower. Man, Ryan Karcher is doing some very, very unique things with peppers. By the way, the burn was in my throat, just in the back of my throat. Not much of a burn on my mouth, but boy, my. There was initially, there was, I'm telling you, that pepper stings a little bit. Ryan, let me know if you, if I'm perceiving this wrong or if that pepper stings. It doesn't just burn. Um, so in the description box, you're gonna see Ryan Karsher. Down here, you're gonna see my son, Johnny Scoville Jr. and the lifeboat. Up on top, you're gonna see a video with me and Tad. Tad eating the Defco chocolate. He gets really mad at me. The reason I'm showing you that is because right now we're doing a fundraiser for Harvest 912. Um, if you can donate, great. If you can't, just share this video and make it, maybe comment, hit the like button. Um, if you've never subscribed, maybe do that. But um, listen, it, it, it's a beautiful thing. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. If you can help, $9.12. We're trying to raise $912, every penny of it. Tad and Kit don't get paid. They don't get draw an income from Harvest 912. I don't, I'm the national spokesperson. I don't draw an income from Harvest 912. When they sell something from Mad Cow, they don't take a penny of that either. And they take money of their own and put it into Harvest 912. They're really good people, and they're helping people that are less fortunate than you are and than I am. So let's, let's see if we can do something good. If he, we get to 912, Tad is gonna eat a warthog with me. That Matthew Arthur, the creator, is gonna be shipping to us when I'm in Pennsylvania. So, um, and I should probably add this. Boy, she didn't say it was firm, but I think it is. She said if we can double it, if we somehow manage to double it and get 18 and change, then Kit will eat a warthog as well. Um, they're going to pick their own peppers. Tad for sure is going to pick his own. If we somehow are able to double it, then Kit will pick hers as well. But Tad has agreed, and I didn't ask him for this. This was, he came up with the ground rules. I didn't say a thing. He said, here's how we're going to do it. That was his way of agreeing to it. Um, his way of agreeing to this is that he's going to, after he eats it, he's going to stay on camera for four minutes. Now, we're going to try to film this outside. There's no rhyme or reason to the train when it goes by, but we're going to try to time it uh, like we did in the chocolate primitale video. So, uh, help out. If, on top, you're going to see the Defco chocolate video with me and Tad. And the other video is going to be the most recent upload from Wheels on Heat, Joseph Afonso. And if you could do me a favor and subscribe to Joseph, he's a good kid. He seems like a very nice young man. Um, and there's, you know, there's way more good. I think there's more good in the world than there is evil. And this is good. So if we can show him some love, that'd be a good thing. And I appreciate you for doing that. All right, we're going to wrap it up now. I hope you have a great day. I'll, I got a lot going on. I'm getting ready to go to uh, Pennsylvania, so I have a lot of work I'm doing. But I'll try to do another video this afternoon. If I can, I can. If I can, at least be a short. But uh, thank you for hanging out with me.
My name is Johnny Scoville. And this was Chase the Heat. <laughs>